welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this video, I'm going to have another quick look at the difference between H.265 recorded internally on the X-T3 and ProRed HQ recorded externally on the Blackmagic Video Assist. I had a quick look at this before, but I thought I'd have another look. And this time, what I'm going to look at is how you can recover underexposed and overexposed in both formats and is one better than the other for doing that. We'll also have a quick look at the noise at different ISOs between the two as well and just see if there's any difference in that as well. So uh, let's have a quick look and uh, see what we find out. Over to the computer. So we've had a look at the footage and to be honest there's not a huge difference between H.265 and ProRes HQ. Just straight out of the box it looks pretty much the same. When it comes to recovering and bringing back highlights and shadows it's better to underexpose by the looks of it. Well, it's better to be spot on to start with but if you do underexpose you can recover them it quite well. The overexpose, once you get to two stops over, then you basically add it. If we look at the noise, I'd say the noise is pretty similar. But one thing I did notice is that the ProRes seems a little bit sharper. If you look at the edges, it just seems a tad sharper. So I'm not sure if it is the actual ProRes codec or the H.265 is being... Uh, denoised a little bit more in camera not sure on that but noise wise they don't look a lot of difference so at the end of the day is it worth recording ProRes to be honest unless you need that 422 for green screening or a lot of uh, colour grading no not really it's a bigger file format uh, you're going to get a larger files at the end of it so the H.265 is yeah, perfectly good for it. Obviously the new sensors that have come out with the Fuji cameras may be better or worse in this category. So uh, when I get a chance to check it out, I will do. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.